people of the internet. So I thought I would film a makeup tutorial for Vanessa Hutchins' look from the recent VMAs. I think it was the VMAs that she wore this look to. She kind of looked like this floating boho fairy princess thing with this like long gown and it was pink and her hair was all flowery and curly and her makeup look is kind of more like it's a good transition between summer and fall just because it's got some cool tones it's got some warm tones it's kind of like bronzy goddessy looking and I don't know I just think it would be a really fun little video to film for a tutorial for you guys so I will do that so to start off with I've already done my BB cream and my concealer and I'll post a link in the description box just in case you want to see how I did that but just to save up some time in this video I'm not gonna do that here um, I've also done my overall bronzer but I haven't contoured or anything like that yet um, so that's actually what I was gonna do now so I will do that um, so using my tiny travel size Lorac tantalizer I'm going to take this matte bronzer oh look you can see it. you can see it okay um, so I'm gonna take this um, this matte bronzer right here just because her skin is very dewy and very highlighted but her contour is matte so I'm just going to take this little travel powder brush by Essence of Beauty and just run that through the hollows of my cheeks just to create a slimmer and I think yeah I guess you'd say slimmer more like defined features Okay, so once you're happy with the contour, I didn't run it along my nose or my jawline, but I did take it up along the edges of my forehead. So once you're happy with that, I'm going to take this highlight color right here, just because it's so pretty, and I'm going to use, like, I've cleaned the brush. It's cleaned up my arm. Um, I'm going to use the same powder brush just to run that along my cheekbones and the center of my nose. Okay, and once you're happy with the highlight, um, we're gonna go and take, before we do our eyes, I'm gonna take my Rosebud salve and just prep my lips, just for lipstick things later. I feel like this is such an important step, just especially if your lips start to get chapped. I mean, mine are starting to with the change of season. They're starting to get a little chapped like in the center, so it just helps with a nice even application of lipstick later on. So it is a super important step. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk Extreme Wear Eye Primer. So I'm just going to take that with my finger in like on my lid and through my crease. Okay, and a lot of you are probably going to freak out about this, but I am going to use my finger for eyeshadow, at least for the base color, not so much for the contour color, but I'm going to use from my Sephora It palette, I'm going to take ah, this, oh, I dropped the thing. <laughs> I'm going to take this color right here, this nice like shimmery bronze color, and I'm just going to, using my finger, um, take that over my whole lid because she has this really nice just bronzed eye look it's mostly this shadow and a little bit of contour so I'm going to mostly use this one um, so I'm just going to take some of that on my finger like that and just dab that on I'm not rubbing I'm just dabbing it into my eyelid um, I know a lot of you do probably freak out about using fingers and stuff to apply eyeshadow but what I've noticed is for some of these colors in this palette and some of the ones from my Beauty Gems palette it just transfers a lot easier if you use a finger rather than a brush it just gives a nice like kind of foiled look I want to say and for this look especially it definitely works because it looks like she has a bronzed foiled eyelid so yeah. 
Okay, and I did take my MAC 217 brush and just run it along the edges of the eyeshadow just to blend it out a bit because it was a bit too harsh. So I did do that. And the next thing I'm going to do is take my e.l.f. pigment eyeshadow in the shade Baked Brown, which is this nice shimmery brown. Let's see if I could do this without getting it. Also, I apologize about some of the background noise. It is pouring rain outside and don't know why I decided to film this today but I did so I apologize if you hear lots of pitter patter noises coming from that direction so I'm just going to take out some of that brown nice brown shade and using my MAC 217 brush I'm going to take it in the outer thirds and through my crease not insane amounts because it is most most of prime makeup is this bronze color but I'm just kind of to give a little definition because right now the look is very flat so to give some contour to it and you want to work because I mean well this shade particularly is very dark but just work in like super super small amounts so you don't like overpower <laughs> the look Okay, so in the look, she does have, it, like, it does wing out ever so slightly, so I just took whatever, like, was left on my brush and just kind of dragged it in this direction until it created, like, this nice winged shape. And if you run into the whole, um, you made the shadow too dark kind of thing, I actually used this base color right here just to kind of help me blend it out a little bit, uh, just because I kind of had really dark edges like you can see the difference between this one and this one I did that to show you guys like this is what it looked like to begin with and then I used this color right here just to blend it a bit more so it's kind of more subtle and less stark like this one the next thing I'm going to do is take a little fine liner brush yeah fine liner brush and use the same color and just kind of take some underneath my lower lash line I am looking down into a mirror in case you don't usually watch my videos, just so you know I'm not like being, I don't know, weird and staring down now. I've got a mirror like right here. Once you're happy with that, we're going to take, um, she has this really nice pearly highlight under her brow and this color is like the perfect color for it. It's this tiny little, let's see if I can focus it. It's a Sephora eyeshadow. I think I got this as a birthday gift ages ago. And it's in the shade Aspen Summit. I don't know if they still make this shade, but the shade is like this really gorgeous pearly white and it just kind of is perfect for this. So using a clean finger, I'm going to take a little bit of that, oh shit, there's way too much, and just put it under my brow. Okay, and that's it for the eyeshadow itself. I'm then going to take my Maybelline Master Precise Liner just because she has very minimal eyeliner and this has a super thin brush so it'll make my life a hell of a lot easier. And I'm just going to take that over my lids really, really close to my lash line, create a tiny little flick and then about three quarters of the way through my bottom lash line. Okay, so what I've done is just create this really, really tiny little flick and connect that with the bottom lash liner 
and just stop it about about equal distance from my nose. It's about uh, I want to say like a centimeter or so, just from the edge of my eye, just because to finish that line would kind of close my eyes off and make them look smaller. So this kind of just opens them up, makes them look better. That's probably why she did something like that. Oh my god, the rain stopped. <laughs> now it's sunny outside. Wow. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take my Calvin Klein One Mascara that I adore. And you could wear false lashes with this look, but I'm going to choose not to just because this eye, uh, this mascara, I almost called it eyeliner, is just really volumizing. So I'm not going to bother with false lashes, but if you don't have a mascara that's super volumizing, then I would opt for something small, probably either just accent lashes or like a demi wispy kind of lash. Just something that's really natural looking because her eyelashes are kind of, I wouldn't say they're super natural looking because they're not, but it's softer so that you can focus more on the eye makeup itself instead of the lashes. Okay, and I'm just going to apply a generous coat to my lashes, probably just one coat, just because this mascara is pretty intense and I don't want to look a crazy person, um, but we'll see how it goes. I just realized that the twisty bit on my mascara wand has like a lock thing that makes it smaller. So it, I used the long-ish brush part for the upper lashes and then I made it smaller for the bottom lashes. So that is the lashes done and the only thing that I have left to do is just lipstick. And I'm not using a matte lipstick so I'm not going to bother with... Um, like wiping the chapstick off because it'll be fine. Um, and this is a CoverGirl lipstick. I don't know what lipstick type it is besides the fact that it's CoverGirl. I know the shade is 570 Marvelicious. That sounds fun. Marvelicious. Marvelous. Okay, so um, I'm just going to take that on my lips, of course, not anywhere crazy. Um, but I will leave the name of this lipstick, just because I don't know what it's actually called, in the description box. So I'm just going to apply that. And that is the finished makeup look. I'm actually really, really happy with it. I think it's super wearable, and it could be like dressed up, dressed down. I think that's why it's such a good look is because it's not insanely overpowering. Um, so yeah, this is what the finished look is. It's so cute. I'm, I'm like obsessed with it already. I'm like, oh my god, look, look I did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up. I've got so much lipstick and other fun things on my wrist right now. So give it a big old thumbs up just so I know like, hey, this was a good tutorial and all that. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more things. Send me requests if you have any other favorite looks that you've seen on celebrities, whether it's VMAs or not, or music videos or anything like that. Send me your little request things in the comments below and I will get to them because I um, would be really excited if someone sent me a request. Um, so yeah, thanks. Bye guys. Oh no. <laughs> uh, 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 oh. Cause I'm not listening, uh, 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 I see you move your lips, but it sounds like gibberish.